Hello everybody, a special welcome to the new subscribers. Which we got thank you to our interview with Out Chasing Stars. It went live yesterday, check it out if you haven't done it yet. And David and Amy, guys, thank you very much, that was very nice of you. So we hope you will enjoy our new young YouTube channel. And see you out there. Where are we going? We are going to Keppel Islands, but the plan was to arrive there tomorrow at 3 or 4 p.m. after uh, after like 35 hours and I think that is not going to be possible because we are going a little bit slow. In this episode, 22 Souths continue to sail up north the east coast of Australia. So let's explore and discover in together new beautiful islands. As you can see, we promise you amazing wide private beach but for now, we need patience waiting for the wind. There's an alarm to say we are going less than two knots. Mm. But it's okay, we will get there. One day, we will get there. But not yet. But not yet. <laughs> The wind drove and we don't want to spend the night motoring, so we stop in Bundaberg for the night. In the morning, a kind 12 knots push us at 4.5 knots in our destination. The wind intensifies and we climb at 5 to 6 knots with 15 to 20 knots of wind. It's a perfect condition for a beautiful day of sailing. We can enjoy cooking, and for Carlos and me, eating is one of the key to put us in a good mood. Right now the wind drops, but we will have 30 knots of wind during the night. Um, I'm a bit worried because I never sailed with so much wind before. That's why I prefer to stop in Pancake Creek for the night and enjoy the comfortable wind we will have tomorrow morning but my captain has decided to continue for another night and start organizing the boat I'm gonna find the light, the headlight for the night I don't want you to go very far at night so I will, I will click you here for You're the night Attach? Yes No, but seriously, why? So it's going to be like 20, 25 knots with gust of 30 knots tonight. And we have to click at night. It would be dangerous. Little rose for the night. So you have to put your life jackets like this. And after you have to click. And you have, I'm sorry, you have also something between the legs, like this, and after the click, so you, you put that here, and that in different places in the boat. These lines run on our port and starboard side, from the back to the front of the boat. Their mission is to be attached to them for when we have to get out of the cockpit to, for example, put a reef on the mainsail. So at night we put all every single light, we put it red, like that, and like that, and actually that will be enough. We always keep one only. And because you would lose your vision at night, you, you can actually see outside, especially when it's full moon or half moon or whatever, you still see quite a lot. And, and then a white light in the face would make you lose your uh, vision, your night vision. And it would take you like more than 20 minutes to recover it and look outside. So for security reasons, red light always at night and the head torches the same. Red light. And that's it. That's the rule for the night. We keep sailing and follow a watch system that allowed one person to rest while the other one is in the cockpit. 
That's why click is very important in case a bad wave knock down the boat and put one of us overboard. On our night watches, our routine is to keep the log every two hours, keep an eye for any type of lights, check the chart plotter to make sure we are on the right course and IASs of other vessels to see that we are not on a collision course, check that wind speed and direction are still ok before having to trim the sails. In the morning, I am surprising to see Carlos not clicked. I was clicked. No, no, I, I was saw clicked you. And I bro it broke. Huh? It just broke. Wow. Yeah. How long do you have this line? <laughs> Two years and a half. And maybe we have to change every year? I didn't know. Yeah. Uh, maybe. Imagine if I fall. <laughs> Yeah. Overboard, I go. After doing some research about it, lifelines are better kept out of the sun when in an anchorage and probably change them once a year. Uh, it's 22 knots. 22. Yeah, it's a lot. And we are going at? 6.7. Okay. Almost 7 knots. Finally, we anchor in this beautiful bay. Carlos had long shift and I am waiting for him to wake up. I start to be ready before enjoying a walk on the land. And we just arrived in Clipper Islands. Yep. We finally anchored at the north part of this island and are very excited to go for a three hours hike to discover how wild and beautiful this place is. Man has to do what a man has to do. Let's clean the hall of Mirny. Feel so lazy to do this. It was very dirty. I prefer something hot. Yes. A ginger. I would love a hot shower, but I don't think we have hot water anymore. No, I tried and no. Oh yeah. On day two, let's go for another walk. This time to discover the east part of this island. Quick dinghy trip, and here we are in an incredible clear water white sandy beach and the best it's all for ourselves Great Keppel Island also known as Ganunibara in its aboriginal name is the largest of the 18 islands in the Keppel group Great Keppel Island is part of the Great Barrier Reef Marine Park. The island is surrounded by 27 kilometers of beaches as well as extensive coral reefs. It's already time to say goodbye to Keppel Islands and go for more sailing, taking the advantage of a good wind. Thank you for watching and feel free to leave your comments. Like that we will be able to know what you like and orientate our future videos. Don't go too far, let's watch those bloopers. Au revoir. Adios. Welcome for the new subscriber. No, 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 no. To the new subscriber. Which we got. Thank you to our interview. No, no. Three subscribers. See, it's hard. I was so focused. Yeah, sorry. Okay, to put it this...
a bit hard. A pain in the ass. Right now we are muttering because the dream right now and shit. A blackout by a, a white light. No, it's not blackout. I just I just don't know. And then I don't know what to say. My first shift. Shift. Yeah. Okay. Done. Yeah. Do you like um <laughs> and the uh, to a cat. Thank you for watching. And thank you for watching. Joder. Y voilà.